Good morning, everybody. Welcome to this beautiful Friday morning. You know, season is beginning to start. It's now November the 1st, and the busyness always kicks in even double. But I tell you, sometimes I think it kicks in in August. It kicks in in September, in April, in May, in June. There's just not a time where your life isn't so busy you can't even see straight. There's not a time in our lives right now where we have time to even go to the doctor and say, oh no, I can't, I can't go, I'm too busy. Life is just busy. We find ourselves running all around, being busy, and you know what? It wears on our face. It wears out our bodies. And all of a sudden, I think we can become really grumpy and uh, disenchanted with life, lose a little passion. So the busyness that we encounter on a daily basis can really hurt us. It can really take, zap away the love and the peace and the joy in your life. Well, I learned through life that I put on my brakes. And when I start putting on my brakes, I start backing up and start taking things off my schedule because I know that I cannot handle all of that. It's too much for me. Because what happens when I get busy is what happens in Hebrews 12, 3. And it says, he says, just think about him. And they're talking about Jesus who endured from sinners such grieving opposition and bitter hostile against himself. And what he's talking about is, and I'll go on and say, he says, just look to Jesus. Jesus has been through all of this. Let's look and see what if you look to Jesus, what's going to happen. He says, look to Jesus so that you may not grow weary. I just love that. Look to Jesus so you may not grow weary or exhausted losing heart. And sometimes we lose heart when we're too busy. Sometimes we lose heart, we lose passion, we lose love. We lose everything that God is trying to put in us. And then it says, and relaxing. If you're losing your heart and you're not relaxing and you're fainting in your mind. And I love that. So yeah, sometimes I think I'm fainting and fainting in my mind. I just, my mind just stops working. I sit down on the couch and what do you do? You just want to zone out. You just, you're not plugged in because your mind has fainted. I just love that, a fainting mind. You see, we have to learn to look to our source for our, our rejuvenation. We have to look to our source for our refreshment. Uh, in Christ. We can't look to the world and all the busyness. And when you start running and running and running and running and running and running and running, then we know we have to stop. Then we know we need to pull back on the brakes and start focusing on your source of joy. Start focusing instead of your joys of peace. Start focusing on Jesus and how he can lead you and guide you into not being so obligating to yourself. See, sometimes we can obligate ourselves out to everything and forget to obligate ourselves to God. Yes, we need to forcefully, di diligently force ourselves to focus on God during the busy days that we have. And remember, learn to put on your brakes and back up. And sometimes it's really healthy to say, no, I can't make it. So let me just pray for you if you're either way, way too busy or maybe you're the opposite and you're just so lonely. You'd like to be busy. Let's pray for you. Oh, Heavenly Father, you are my source. You are my source of joy. You are my source of peace. You are my father. You are my husband man. You are everything to me. Please don't let me get so busy where I don't have time for you. Don't let me get so busy that I am depressed and my heart has fainted and my mind has fainted. Pick me up, Lord God. Put me on a solid rock with you so that I will know which direction to go. And you give me wisdom and knowledge to lead me each and every day so I'm not so exhausted and I haven't just obligated myself right out of your presence. We thank you, Lord God, that you hear prayer and answer it in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. And don't forget, I'm on Facebook, I'm on YouTube, and I'm now on Instagram under Cindy Brady. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.